So before we get started today, um, I think it needs to be said, um, not that we're the ones that you need to listen to, and that the, that's just the point. Listen to what people in the black community are saying needs to change in the world around us because it's at a point now where uh, you know the world's pretty much falling apart before our eyes. I mean, cities are getting torn down, mm. and and some people's eyes, rightfully so. Who are we? Yeah. To, who are we to you know have any issue with that? Um, you know, rest in peace to, to George Floyd. Condolences to his family. Um, I wouldn't even say things like this often, but definitely uh, prayers to them. You know what I mean? If there's any Absolutely. sort of power out there that's that's involved with any anything that we have any say in in our lives. That motherfucker needs to get involved uh, and 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 help guide fucking something here because it's it's just it's 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 enough is enough things are yeah. pretty much out of hand yeah um so listen yeah. listen to what what black folks have to say because absolutely because something needs to change yeah uh, pretty much here now yeah and you're that's, seeing kind of my even more of the yeah. same problems in the uh, the protests where like in Raleigh yesterday everything was absolutely fine. And then, you know, police started sending off tear gas. And it's like, that's what, you know, that's the kind of, they're not, they're meant to de-escalate situations. And that's not what we're seeing. And exactly. People tried, really, Kaepernick tried the peaceful protest. Everyone got pissed off, shut it down. So you got, you have, they have, have to have their voice heard and they're going to make sure it's heard. And, you know, we, we as the rest of the nation need to take a minute and listen to that, listen to other people's experiences and struggles and, make a change. So yeah, like Josh said, uh, prayers for George Floyd and his family and anyone affected by, uh, you know, police violence, just Racism. general oppression, general oppression. Uh, it's definitely time to do better. Talking Sauce, episode 66. Execute order 66. Execute Dylan, where's Plagueis? Bitch, why you gotta say it? Just let me do it. <laughs> dude, who was that really good band with that really good song named Order 66, dude? Yo, who I, think, who I think their name dude? was, uh, was it <sighs> With it was Heavy like, Hearts? I think it was like White Knuckle Handjob or something, dude. Something <laughs> like that. I don't <laughs> <laughs> remember remember when you guys stole that name from dear desolate hey hey that's not how it went who but it's all good exactly, that's exactly what happened wait who? you guys because dude I, I thought you still were exists i thought you were talking about dear desolate yeah dude i'm talking uh, about the dylan's way better band, band dylan's band coincidentally like how, how dare you say dylan's band how dare you say dylan's the, band dude. like obviously we know what order 66 is but they came up with the song name for it like literally at the same time dude, I, dude I remember, no it was like it was like months before yeah, but you guys like, weren't even remotely relevant. So. Well, sure, but we like dude, we, we ran the it, like scene. months before, and we we, we, we ran the we ran we the did, scene. Dude. We debuted the, we debuted the song like the day we wrote it, son. Live, bro. What do you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Connections, we'll show up, dude. We'll show up anywhere unprepared, bro. On God, <laughs> <laughs> that was like that was kind of our stick too. That was our podcast. No lyrics, baby. <laughs> he really went up there no and just made with no man. lyrics, son. Like that a, song didn't need lyrics. That shit was heavy, though. That, song was, heavy. that song was actually fire. It was a that was like one of the only song. good ones we ever wrote. That was like we had a couple okay. of right songs. We had like six total songs. Well, it was man. before <laughs> Dylan. It was before Dylan ever wrote music. So that's true. We were relying on uh, uh, the other guys. Won't say their names. They're not. Was, well, it was before Sebastian I ever Box contributed to their music. These guys are these guys are miracle pioneers. These guys. It's true. Yeah. true. I mean, shouts out though the guys we did used to be in the band with. Uh, Absolutely, are now Croesus, still mm-hmm. active all all around the East Coast. All that I, I shout out their label, but I forgot it. They're doing their thing. Well, no free that's press. That's not Brandon. Screw lock. That's not Brandon. Shouts out Adam. That's the only, no pick. the only guys I know with a uh, fucking weirdo person. All right, tangent done. What's next? Damn, Cody's uh, over. Brandon dude. recorded our guitar for our EP <laughs> Swirl. Shouts out. He did. Shouts out. Shout out um, 2014. Yeah. So SpaceX launched yesterday. Mm-hmm. No one saw it. Totally forgot. Everyone forgot. If it's on um, a weekend, like I just don't care as much. 
That's like it right. needs to be out on the weekday to give me it something to look forward to. Yeah, it yeah. should went off when it was, when it yeah. was scheduled to. Right. And time. some bigger things were happening, in fairness. there, The news was dominated by other What other What time did it go off yesterday? Really? I had to have assumed it was like, yeah. It was, it was before like four, yeah. before three or some shit. But yeah, uh, I watched the replay, though, um, and you know, skip through the boring parts. It was really cool to see the inside. The suits and everything, like they straight up look like Power Rangers, and they look like they were like in a video game. Like it looks. It looks like. Have you ever been in one of those, uh, like some of the like arcades or something? Will have those like roller coaster simulators that you can get inside. Like that's what it looked like Mm -hmm. inside. It did. It really did. Flat Um, flat screens, and and that was it. Usually, when you see like the inside of like the, you know, and we haven't sent people up in space in a hot minute, but usually when you saw pictures like that, they're like all hooked up with their big bulky suits, restricted. These guys were chilling. I mean, they were like in the front of the Lexus. Mm-hmm. So, well, it's because it's fake, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> duh, dude. Awesome. I, I, ILM has taken it over. They could definitely, they could definitely hook that up. Who's that? ILM. Uh, it's the yeah. industrial light and magic. It's who does all the Star Wars stuff. It's George Lucas's oh. uh, like CGI company. Mm. Uh, but I don't know if no, you've seen straight the straight up though. But straight up, uh, have you guys seen the was... Mando stuff? Like where they're in that like 360 degree room, how they're filming it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So like, that's how some people were saying that that's how like, that's just what moon travel is now. It's just going to be people up in there. Well, I actually had a, uh, actually had a guy I went to school with. He was there. He was actually at the launch and it was on a Snapchat story. That's cool. So he was there. He was like, I trust him. I trust him. The rocket fuel was warm. (laughs) And where did Uh, it launch from again? Florida. Florida, NASA, NASA's uh, space. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's it's a private. It's like you know, like the airport is owned by the airport people, but like airlines, SpaceX is like a space line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. They're not NASA. But fucking, uh, when I was watching it with Megan too, it was just funny, like looking at it and you know, obviously, like speaking to it being fake or whatever. Like looking at, you could see clearly the camera goes. I'm like, huh? And look at that, just beautiful curvature. Yeah, <laughs> the curvature of the earth, just like I was. Dude, there's, fake, there's like dude. a trending. There's a trending Netflix, and, and this is topical for the next thing. But this, there's a trending uh, documentary like about flat Earth on uh, really? Netflix too. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's like overly popular, but yeah. solid and, up. and the Stupid. makers of the Stupid. the creators of the Office putting out some show on like Hulu, I think, with Steve Carell. No, it's on Netflix. It's, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Oh yeah, where he's like the head of the Space Force. It looks scared, okay at best. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay at best. To be honest, I don't know, I dude. Uh, the the guy from Parks and Rec is in there too. Uh, John Ralphio. Who's that? Uh, uh, ben, ben Schwartz. What? Yeah, Ben Schwartz. Yeah. Oh. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. uh, that new Space Force show with Steve Carell on. Netflix. Oh, he's in that. Yeah, that's it. He's hilarious. I just don't want to watch it and be disappointed. And like, oh, yeah. Carell, what are you doing, man? You got to let go of Game of Thrones, man. You just got to let go. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm assuming that's where that feeling comes from. It's. I see what you're saying. I would think it's more why about did you ruining bring the that, office. Why'd right? you bring that into this, man? This because wasn't that. Clearly, it's about that, and you need you're to. You're the fucking it. worst person. <laughs> you're the worst person I know. That's serious. No, no I think it's the, pretty the worst. The worst person that you know, especially if you watch the new Netflix documentary, the Epstein one, is that motherfucker. That documentary is wild. Is it's like, it's, so it's a it's a four part series, and like the thing, obviously, you know what he did was disgusting. But the worst part about it is just like how many people seemingly knew about it since like the late eighties. Like yeah. he, like there was people coming, you know, like accusing him then, and it's just like. I mean, obviously, the dude has an asshole full of money, had an asshole full of money. Um, but, yeah, that's, like – and they, they talk about – so, like, they're, one of the survivors is talking about you know, one of the – like, the only vacation that she took with him that didn't result in any of abuse. And the people that were on the plane where there was no abuse was Epstein, Weinstein, and Kevin Spacey. And I was like, that is the worst plane to be on. And somehow yeah, was, that was that was the that's one. That's like a time sexual abuse hat trick. Yeah. So yeah. is this is this is this like getting one person's story, or is it just the oh, no. his story? Okay, okay. Oh no, yeah. So there there's a whole bunch of like the survivors talk and a lot of like the old uh, the attorneys for them and the the investigators okay. and stuff like that. So we've only watched three of the four. So so he hasn't fucking cat. Um. So he hasn't uh, he hasn't actually been arrested yet. We still have to watch this episode, but. 
It's that uh, cat works for the people that killed Epstein. I know, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm talking shit. Just bit my fucking. Like, hey, yo, shut up. Yeah. Like, shut up, man. We don't want this shit to keep. <clears throat> I have a, yeah. CIA, I, I do want to watch it though. I do. It's it's it. worth it. It's just like I mean, I'm I'm a huge fan of like those true crime stuff, but like. Watching that and then watching uh, like Finding Neverland is like it, you just don't feel good after watching. Yeah, it's like yeah. I've heard that. Uh, I meant well, Cody, Cody, good, you man. do have a criminal justice background, so it's not. I know. Like, it it literally, for an education standpoint alone, makes sense for you. Right, sure. but you just don't feel good after watching. I'll watch like How I'll watch you? all shit about fucking pretty much anything else, but obviously it's just yeah. it's it's heavy. It's a heavy documentary, but it's good. I mean, it's you know educational, I guess. Facts. Mm. <clears throat> not shouts out Epstein. No. Um, no way. Did not kill himself. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's not even a joke. You say, be said. You say that be said. like you haven't been listening to anything. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, like you yeah. just heard that last part. That's like only. like you stepped in on the conversation. Oh, Epstein. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, so, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. What are we talking about? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, do we want to talk about the porn noise shit or? We don't really need to. I feel like we, yeah, we can just, right. it's a long we, enough we, intro. We'll have a cut there like, to get to Mario. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully, we can fit all this. We should be able to. Um, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> get ready, Josh. You got a lot of talking to do. This is a big one here, folks. Uh, Episode 66, speaking of 66, speaking of episode 66, speaking of two sixes, one six after another six. First, there's one six, then follows another. That makes mm. two sixes, mm. 66. So not, not three, three sixes. Yeah, not, not three. three only, only two. Not three six minus one six of three sixes, which would be the symbol of the devil. I'm stalling because this is a lot of shit I don't want to have to say, not fuck up. Um but obviously, obviously, if you listen to this podcast at all, you know for each episode, we like to talk about a player who shares the number of what episode it is. And with mm-hmm. it being episode 66, we have to shout out probably, arguably, depending on who you ask, depending on what generation hockey fan you are, the greatest player to ever play the game in some people's eyes, Mario Lemieux. Boop, boop, Mario boop, Lemieux. Boop, boop, boop. The, the savior of Pittsburgh. Uh, pre Sidney Crosby, right? Some say best player to ever do it, arguably for sure. Um, he not took the game over. Not me. I, I mean, I, I, I'd say he's de- easily top two. Easily top like two. Like Ovechkin's up there, though. I mean, no, uh, Josh actually court. argues that 43 is the best hockey player to ever do it, but he <laughs> doesn't like complete. to do it. <laughs> Most complete. Most can't, can't. I literally cannot say that. <laughs> Break. Um, no, Ovechkin, greatest goal scored, greatest player. I, I wouldn't give it to him over Mario. Mario was definitely a better player because he could do it all. I mean, he was mm-hmm. 6'4", 200, 230 pounds. Like, the guy had hands like he was Gretzky size, but he wasn't. I mean, he was massive. Um, he never really played the game that heavy, but he could. He definitely yeah. could if he needed to, um, and it paid off as a centerman. Took any game over, he played. That was That's like the thing. Like, guys like him, McDavid, those pure, true generational talents, not just like all-stars, like – like, let's take Pitnan just as a rough example. Not that we're just playing them coming up. You know, there's no shade there. But outstanding talent. He's going to go down as one of the best Russians, maybe of our generation. Mm-hmm. Is he going to be, like, this guy who we remember as this just, like, game changer? Not necessarily. Nah. Probably not. And that's no nope. shade, but that's what we're talking about when you talk about a guy like Mario Lemieux versus, you know, just a, a typical all-star. Dude was the, the GOAT. Guy was the GOAT. Drafted first overall by Pittsburgh in 84. Um, and they needed him bad. They were already on the point of getting ready to get relocated. If not for this, I think even then when they picked them up, it was like, let's see what happens. Cause we still might need to move this team. So if not for Mario at that point, the team would have moved for sure. Yeah. And that wouldn't be the first time he saves the franchise uh, from getting, getting moved. He played 73 games his rookie season, hundred points. So instantly he's, he's the best player in the league. What's up? <laughs> I mean, obviously this is a time when goals are getting scored left and right. Um, won the Calder, obviously. He scored famous for scoring his first shot, uh, getting his first goal, first shot, first shift. So, I mean, right <laughs> out of the gate, people are like, here we go. Uh, the, what a the, the, just as advertised. The hero. You know what I mean? See, I mean, this is like, this is stuff that when it was going on, like, if we weren't old enough, but if you were able to witness a lot of it live cognitively, you were, you were 
experiencing history, pure yeah. hockey history in the making. A lot of stuff we're seeing that now, and maybe we'll reflect on it. It'll be as big, but at the time, this stuff that was going on that was was game changing. Um, <clears throat> so, right, scores that first goal, first shift. He's a Dynamo already. Um, fast forward. Uh, a couple of years later, he was diagnosed with a herniated disc. So looking at his career from 90 on, it, it these injuries, and, and obviously he's known for having a lot of injuries that kind of helped him uh, or, or really hurt him from being probably the greatest player ever. Yeah. Um, but lo- looking at his career after he was diagnosed with that herniated disc in 90, it's really interesting what he was still able to do as a guy who was very severely injured and missed a lot of games because of it. He put up 123 points with 45 goals in 59 games. The same season he was diagnosed. Yeah. <laughs> the same season fucking he was diagnosed. Animal. Was yeah. Wild. Those playoffs, um, or the playoffs of 91, he had 44 <laughs> points in 23 games. Con Smythe wins the cup. The following season, that regular season, 64 regular season games, and he still gets the Art Ross with 131 points. Those playoffs, uh, 34 points, 15, 15 games. Wins the Conn Smythe, wins the Stanley Cup, back-to-back Stanley Cups. Um, it's it's ab- absolutely outstanding. So the next year, right, he's had a herniated disc. He's had an outstanding season after season despite those injuries. In 93, he was diagnosed with cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, which I'm not, spe- I'm not too keen on the specifics of it. It's, it's a motherfucker, though. Uh, and that season, he still played, I think, like – 60 something games he played no yeah he played 60 games that season missed most of them um, or, or i guess he played the like first half of the season missed most of the second half of the season but he came back and played the last 16 games those last 16 games after being diagnosed with cancer he scored 51 points and that How? season he had 160 because <laughs> he's a fucking Jesus. hero he was, he was a different human dude he, was, he wasn't yeah. human you know what i mean just you know i mean what was so he was he was diagnosed like how much time was there between when he was diagnosed and then he played the 16 games he had surgeries like almost like a third of the season he had surgeries radiation treatment yeah and, and, that, and the radiation is you know supposedly supposed to be extremely taxing on the body i could, couldn't even imagine going back and playing a contact sport like that and then while just having blowing a history up. of while having a history of back problems yeah, and came back and then scored fifty-one points. That's in that's almost four, that's games. almost four points a game. That's like yeah. three and a half points a game. And when you look at when you look at uh, some of his playoff runs, like all of his playoff runs were like over two points a game. It's it's absolutely crazy. Nuts. Um, yeah. So so the following season, the following season, he missed the entire 94, 95 year, 95 year. Well, I think with back issues that time. Comes back for the best season of his career in 95 96 with 161 points. And that season, he had the famous five goal game that uh, everyone knows and loves. So, with all that said, over his whole career, he wins the Art Ross six times, Ted Lindsay four times, the Hart three, along with many other awards and all star nominations. Two times uh, Stanley Cup winner as a player, back to back 91 92, as mentioned. He retired in 97 due to all of his injuries and mostly the back issues, obviously, and having, having to battle cancer. But he came back and the excuse me, my nose is like super itchy. Forgive me. <laughs> it's all those pre-pod lines. Yeah. How do, so, how do you think I read all this information off? <laughs> I actually spent some time outside today. So my body's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Get back inside. Inside. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Here's some allergies for you. The air is um, clean. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm have to retire from the podcast due to allergies. This is like the level of softness. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to Lemieux. <laughs> yeah. Guys, just um, can't do it. I'm just so weak. Um, so he retires in 97 uh, due, to, due to his injuries. Comes back three years later. Plays five more seasons. I think somewhere and the lockout happened in there as well. Um, and finally retires in 2006. 11th all-time with, in goals with 690. 12th all-time in assists, 1033. Eighth all-time in points at 1723. The second all-time in points per game with 0.88. Gretzky's number one with 0.92, I think. 1.8 and 1.92. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Let's say 0.8 doesn't sound that great. No. Yeah, 1 point, excuse me. Uh, 1.88, almost, almost 1.9. Second behind Gretzky. And those two light years, <clears throat> light years above everyone else. Right. Lemieux never even broke a thousand games, which is so crazy. He never even broke seven hundred games. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Imagine if he had. You said Wait. he didn't break 700? I think he only had 690 in his nah, whole career. I see 915 oh, did on, okay. on your notes. No, that, that's how many goals he had. Sorry, I got my stats uh, backwards. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Games. But he never broke 1,000. He never broke 1,000 games. At his points per game, he could have had over – he could have had almost like 2,700 points. Or excuse me, if, excuse me, if he had played as many as Gretzky. If he had played as many games as Gretzky with the points per game average he had, he would have had easily, easily almost 2,800 points. Which is uh, – I did, I did just look it up. It was – you were right. It was 9-15 games played. But still, if he plays as much as Gretzky, I mean, we're definitely yeah. looking at a different goat in, in, in the NHL. So compared to Gretzky, he missed like 500 games. I mean, Which that's – insane. That's, you know, for some well, people, imagine that's if a we, whole career. And it imagine. wasn't just like, you know, br- like a broken leg. Like it wasn't just like an injury that it's, you know – time will heal it it was like real serious medical like back stuff is nothing to play Career around with. Ending. obviously right. cancer is nothing to play around with like he was playing through some real real serious uh adversity yeah and i mean if you think about it if he it was insane if he would have played those three years that he was out with the back injury and then played the additional games that he was out for the the chemo and all of that like he could have easily broke so many more of those records yeah and obviously would have gotten over a thousand games too yep but with the five Stanley Cups, I don't think he's, you know, the records probably suck that he doesn't have them, but I don't think he's too upset. You know what Yeah, I mean? he's all right. Yep. He so got the when rings. He retired, when he retired in 97, because uh, obviously he came back immediately, Hall of Fame. It's just crazy how long yeah. some players have to wait. <laughs> yeah. No waiting period for the music. Oh, you're done playing? Bam, you're in. And so usually there's like X number of years after retirement you right. have to wait before you're eligible, and they were like, nah. No question. Guys in. Yeah. <laughs> Young man. Um, so, yeah, he gets inducted, uh, goes on to eventually become the owner of the Penguins, keeps them from relocating more than once again, uh, drafting Sidney Crosby, winning them three more Stanley Cups as the owner, five cups to his name. I mean, Mario Lemieux, dude. Shots out. That dude, dude. Shouts. Nine's upside down, That bro. fucking guy. Absolute legend. In- Mm. <laughs> <laughs> absolute legend that is rough so hurricane and right after cody was like i'm gonna bring everything up uh, cody I mean, we're still, yeah, what? <laughs> no it's funny i mean you still go in you know start it oh okay no, oh, Dylan's oh, hats just i didn't say shit off, dude. Dylan's See, it's really the real off, thing bro. here that's throwing us all off is Dylan's hat. Dylan's dumbass hat with the dog ears sitting out, dude. They're not Fuck dog it. ears. That's guys. what they look like, dog, They're dog ears, ears, dude. They're I can't, like there's a button missing, ears, so I can't put them down. So oh, you're... Go back to Fargo, dude. <laughs> oh. Too cold. He no. He says no. <laughs> Too cold. You got the hat. Only the hat. Look at me. I'm wearing short sleeves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got the hibernation weight. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's just coming for everybody, dude. <laughs> that oh, joke, that joke was like silver platter. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. Look at him. <laughs> looking, for <laughs> <mute>. <laughs> looking for mute. Just always looking for mute. Man. Always looking for mute. Dude. Drinking ramen. Okay. <laughs> Drinking ramen. <laughs> hating his Cody, friends. Cody, what the fuck's going on, dude? Uh, I mean, I guess there's you know some Kane stuff going on. Um, it came out recently, and I think this is something that we had already always kind of thought about um obviously we were one of the teams that voted against the uh the new playoff format um but apparently brenda moore had brought a idea to the nhl basically saying that uh it it should have been brought up where like the rangers would have to win four out of the five games instead of three um which i would have thought would have been really interesting but it'd be kind of hard to do that with the other teams like I don't know if you just make the ones that were originally not going to make the playoffs. Those are the teams that have to win four out of five games. Um, what do you guys think about that type of, of format? Potentially could have been more fair. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, you would have to have based it on, and I think his argument is that, and that was all per Friedman, right? But I think, yeah. I think uh, his thing is that you have to, based on point percentage, so with the point percentage the Hurricanes had, I guess they're they're saying in comparison to the Rangers, right? Isn't I guess that's the distinct the right. biggest that's the biggest difference, not just where they were at in the standings, but 
point percentage. And I guess maybe if you implement something to that effect to help you decide whether or not that would apply. I don't yeah. know. Um, it, or like, or like if it's like the gap, like the gap between the seeded team is this wide versus only this wide, right. that team has to win the more number. It just makes it yeah. too hard though. I feel like it's, it's way too nitty gritty. I mean, it, it, it sucks, but I feel like the way that it's currently set up is the, the e- easiest, it le- you know, it, it balances the easiness and fairness of it. Um, there are definitely more things that could be more fair, but I think it would be a lot more difficult to actually pull off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, we kind of talked about this on the scrum, too, I think, kind of implementing the added games for teams that were outside the playoffs. Right. I think it would have been uh, interesting only from the perspective, kind of, and Brendan Moore kind of said this, uh, the NHL is almost completely throwing out what happened during the regular season, aside from seven teams or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, you know, it kind of goes back to its unique times, unprecedented times. It, it nothing's going to be perfect, but I do think it would have been uh, having the season have more of an impact on what happened with this tournament. Right. I think would have been good, but also fucking is what it is too. <clears throat> um, no. I am tired yeah, I mean, of. Well, imagine like when they, cause you know, when Batman did his thing, he talked about the draft lottery, which was already hard enough to follow. Yeah. And then with what we're talking about here, it only would have made that more complicated. So he, right. he comes like, all right, so here's how we're going to do the playoffs. It's going to be extremely fucking complicated, all right? Yeah, yeah. And then here's how we're going to do the draft lottery. You thought that was crazy. You're not going to fucking understand a lick of this shit. Our, here, our goal is to confuse everyone to the point that we can kind of do whatever in the next season. And you're not start. even mad. You're just glad you're back. <laughs> yeah, that no. season is officially over. Yeah. And there's the, still yeah. the That's whole... all you really got out of it. <laughs> The, we will uh, hand out awards. <laughs> <laughs> Look you're at this empty chair. You, you're gonna get your <laughs> titles. Get over it. But uh, that's, that's one of my favorite things to see. Is like you know everyone's dying so much for for sports and competition. It's like you're telling me that there's gonna be a 24 team battle royale huge tournament to finish the season, and there are people complaining about that. Like it, it, people are just gonna find another reason to complain. But for yeah. me, mm-hmm. there's hockey. people mad that they can't go. Right. Yeah. And also, I mean, the Rangers really weren't that far behind us in the playoffs either. And kind of like how you were saying, Josh, like it gets to that point where there's some teams that are really far out that are getting the chance, but there's some teams that still had a legitimate chance to fight for a playoff spot with the last half of the season, and they should get their fair shot to try to play that out too. So Again, like you have to take into consideration the Rangers were playing really, really good when the season Mm -hmm. was going into a pause. There's no reason to doubt they had the potential to – grab a playoff spot so absolutely but yeah and obviously there's the whole narrative that we're scared to play the rangers and yeah maybe potentially rightfully so i mean they they swept us sure. this year however yeah. we the capitals swept us last year and we all saw what happened with that yeah um but yeah. uh yeah so it, it, and, and Lundqvist isn't playing right i don't think so well don't he know. wasn't he wasn't right. playing right yeah. into the pause he was hurt <clears throat> yeah but they have two really good they were they have right, two really good goalies still. Yeah. yeah, exactly. G- um, what Georgiev or Gorgiev, how do you say his name? And right. uh, Sh- Shesterkin, is that – am I crazy? I don't know. It will be interesting now because wrong, like, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Because I've always felt like that it's been less of the fact that the Rangers have our number and more of the fact that Lundqvist has our number. So that might That's be something too. where that might play a little bit into a, a flip-flop for us. Yeah. Um, and it is Shesterkin, by the way. It, okay. Yeah, good job. Eagle. Uh, good job. Good job, Dylan. Yeah. Thanks for our producer. Fucking dog. Uh, he, with a fucking he, puppy. He can't hear what we're saying with the hat. You know what I mean? <laughs> Facts, yeah. <laughs> um, but we do have Dougie back, which is good. That's been confirmed yeah. by a couple different sources, um, which will be huge. I, do you think he, he hops back on, like, the first power play? And, and do you I think, think he gets, so. he's right back where, you know, so. where he was when he left? Or there's going to be any Cause, sort of – Because who, nope. who stepped up to try to – who's – really taking the spot, you know what I mean? Like Gardner played better Gardner, coming yeah. in, but he didn't, you know, grab that offense, the offensive flair, the offensive spot that was left in our defense defense. And it's so, only been however long it's been, but everyone's been stopped. Obviously yeah. Dougie's the one coming off the injury, but everyone's been stopped. I'm sure some of those guys had some lingering issues. Mm. Oh for the, sure. The point right. is is oh, that yeah. everyone's coming off a pause. So he's back. I mean if he's yeah. back, he's back. Full yeah. full, full swing. And there's been um, there's been like I've heard Pesci could potentially be back. And, again, I, th- I think we talked about it, too. Like, uh, with it being the same shoulder twice, 
I think they're super careful, especially with how our de- how deep our defense is. I don't I think, think it's possible, just, but do you think that would lend to the the chance that Vadin gets a look? He might. I mean, he, why not like, save him and just like because you risk the injury or you risk the thing of him getting injured and then us not being able to trade him because he's he he's gone after this year, right? Who Vadin? Yeah. He's walking oh, yeah. this summer. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's that, that's what I'm saying. So, like, yeah. why even risk? I mean, we have such a deep – I mean, put Bean in. Like like I said, I don't think they're going to use him. I guess really what would be more realistic is Pesci's – if he is back, right. his utilization might just be, like, super low. Just yeah. like you're saying, Jacob, just to avoid the the heavy yeah. – heavy. all right, man, get in there. But even kind of going back know. to uh, what you're saying, Cody, with him, you know, him being gone, it's kind of not a risk to the team when you think about it. Like – they traded. Uh, they traded for him to play. Let him play. It's not like, it's not. You know, he all he has to do is play for the best possible contract he can get in the free agency next year because he's he not resigning to. here. Yeah. So, right. But I mean, is, but if he gets he does injured, have talent. if he gets injured, it kills his we, stock. Right. That's no one's problem. I mean, that's, yeah, so that's it's not the organization's issue. Like it's kind of fucked up, but it's not. If he gets hurt playing, like risk of the job you know yeah right? that's part of his job i mean i don't think i don't think they're going to take that consideration when he's going into free agency like that's a like that's like that's a higher risk factor yeah going into it or saying anything like that so. i think it, i'm not a fan of it but i think we're going to see flurry sit like it, it sucks because he was playing such good hockey there coming into the stoppage but I, I don't know and i don't have any basis on that besides just like the feeling in the pit of my stomach but it's i just feel like he's going to be the one on the bench well i don't see being replacing him no. no, no, but we got we're gonna have Dougie Slavin, uh, Edmondson, Vatten, Gardner. TBR, Gardner. It's and then it well, then it moves into uh, I guess Flurry or uh, yeah, Bean. Flurry. Flurry. Did you already Bean. say Pesci? I hadn't said Pesci, but I guess yeah, no, my head. I just assume he's not gonna come back for the sake of not wanting to hurt him and you know, for the sake of not wanting to deal with the headache. But, it's just too many. I mean, I don't see TBR see playing, playoff experience. Yes, I, I see him putting TBR over him, and I see him putting Edmondson over him, honestly, especially for the playoffs. playoff experience. Yeah. yeah, he's got a cup ring, and he's got I'll say type, the type of game that uh, translates to the playoffs well, too. Vatnin was, before this, he was Jersey and Ducks, right? And I don't think he's <clears> seen any playoff time with either of them. Uh, maybe with maybe. the Ducks. Maybe with yeah. the Ducks, yeah. Maybe but, with um, Jersey the year before when Hall took him one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay. I don't know if he was playing. I just can't remember right. if he was in the roster or what he was doing, but well, I don't know. But, yeah, no, it, it's interesting. It's all very, very motherfucking interesting. Our D course, yeah. super log jam. Yeah. It's going to be a really weird free agency. Um, I mean, some of yeah. those guys are walking, so. Uh, uh, like, Hurricanes. A, relocation news. It's not happening. Not, not happening. yet. Not not happening. Happening. 2029 will be at PNC, which Ooh, makes dark. sense. I, I I couldn't imagine anyone would think anything would different one? happen. Yeah. 2029. Yeah. That's five years. Oh, because the current For one extended yeah. it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah gotcha, gotcha. But but I mean, yeah. it makes sense. They've they've approved all of those the renovations that they're going to do. It's so, like why the hell would so you approve those and then move the team? The most exciting part about this is I think I'm pretty sure they got permission to develop some land around the arena too, which I just creating more of an experience. The tailgate thing's awesome, obviously, but right. having like you know some bars or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some, Dude, some you that imagine? you can go to that you can walk to the game from. I want to nerd of, out, nerd out real quick and just do what from a design standpoint. Like, oh, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick, but it's also gonna be like a nightmare. Oh, I mean, for sure. Just you're fighting because the of state, like state, fighting. You're NC fighting the state. state. You're fighting the parking that already exists because I feel mm-hmm. like some of the I don't know how you're gonna like gonna not hinder some of that. Yeah, or I mean, I don't, do they I don't know. do they look at maybe that potentially putting in putting in some sort of parking deck? That's still well, that's what they talked about. Yeah. There, there's a there's a restaurant that's gonna be up on the second floor. Basically, it's gonna connect the two stadiums, but you're still gonna be able to walk up underneath there. So it's really not taking up any space. Yeah. Mm. They're just building yeah. it up. It's just all gonna go up. Yeah. The only thing that sucks about like a parking deck, A, would be the whole idea of getting in getting and out, out of that it. fucking Whoa. thing sounds like a nightmare. But also dude like the tailgating is a big part of Carolina hockey. Like that's 
Dude, I tailgating like it, the parking deck sounds like a fucking nightmare, dude. Dude, yeah. it sounds lame. You're not going to be able to use It sounds like a fire hazard. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to hear you, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be awful. And just that yeah. whole – that was always – it's like the environment I remember growing up is just that – like a big – it's just a big – cookout dude like mm-hmm. everyone's cool like everyone's yeah. saying what's up you can walk anywhere talk to anyone so fuck a parking deck yeah fuck a parking yeah. deck. But no but you're right that that is that's probably going to be the practical solution to to be able to implement any amount i mean that's what i'm saying like if you're going to do major additions then you're going to have to do something like that because it's you're just you're backed up against weird limited amounts of land and it's yeah. going to go interesting spots but yeah i'll go up build it up and yeah like you're saying too i think there's the plan to connect the the stadiums Dude, R.I.P. Backyard Bistro, man. That place ain't yeah. gonna get no looks. Look, oh, no. I mean, you love legacy. it for what they do for the Canes, <laughs> or, or for what the Canes do for them. Vice versa, it's a very good symbiotic relationship. Like that place kind of sucks, dude. Like, come on, <laughs> yeah. like, like, come on bro. Like, a chicken wait, is forever wait. undercooked. I remember uh, where that shit used to be. Remember where that place used to be? Uh, remember it had a different one? name. Yeah, back was that, like Red Hot and Blue. Was that what it was? That's a stupid know. name. That's a good. That's, 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 I'm glad what, they changed it. It's from like that, a TV show was. restaurant name. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Uh, it's um, what else? The outdoor game. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Game. Speaking of the other stadium, right next. So door. okay, I'm gonna do this. I think I think we've put it on hold enough to where like, oh, right, I'm not worried about. It. Dude, I'm stressing the fuck out. I bought season tickets, dude. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening, dude. I bought season tickets for this outdoor game, dude. What the. Fuck? Fuck, dude. Have you gone on oh. to your Hurricanes account? Shit. No. no. Okay. This man's complaining not, and I haven't even tried. Okay. I mean, dude, I'm right there. That's the type of shit I do, though. Worry like a motherfucker I, and like I tr- I screaming at the air. Be fine. I'm, I I mean, low key, low key. It's it's gonna be a problem. I mean, I, I sh- I'm sure I can just be like, look, I'm gonna need that deposit back because nothing's happening. But I'm I'm not worried about it. I'm yeah. Sure yeah. Um, I just I do hope the outdoor game still it's happens, happen. Man. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen, dude. That's why I got these season tickets. So yeah, I mean, it came out. It came out with that's a, gotta happen. Chip Alexander tweeted out that he had talked to Waddell, and apparently there were three phone conversations with the league uh, last week. They said that they are still moving forward with planning it. So, um, but like, would there even be a point of doing it outdoors if there were no fans? Like, I feel like that experience is <sighs> yeah, it's weird. Like, I mean, do you? Like money wise, it just doesn't make as much sense. Like it's a, it's a Ralphie. cash grab. Marvin agrees. It's a <laughs> cash <laughs> grab. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. and for it to be a cash grab, you got to have people there. Like, right? it's not gonna make any more money being televised on TV no. outdoors. Fuck. No, you're right. Fuck. I don't know. I mean, look, if they if they cancel it, then that just means I'm gonna have to really invest. Like, the next one's just gonna be like a bigger investment for me. I like right. I, it's on the bucket list of hockey shit for me. So oh like, yeah, this, I mean, this would have been such a convenient way to check that off. Yeah, and so the I don't know. I just, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> I'd be so bummed. Yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah, it would really suck. I imagine they would still reschedule it. Um, right. But it would be such a fucking bummer. Because I can equally see them if like we had <laughs> just like being like ah nah never mind like <laughs> just dub the whole thing. Could have been cool, Carolina. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> like thinking about like all right yeah no i could have walked to this winter classic instead i'm about to fly to chicago to fucking i know yeah it's horse shit and for not even be able to see is, the canes in it exactly it is what it is um but for now it's 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 to happen i mean damn the way uh the way the state seems to be opening back up here and there um <laughs> fuck nope yeah. they'll let it happen i guess i don't know we'll see yeah. i got a haircut this morning and uh Yesterday, yesterday I mean, yeah, it, it, the days they just squirrel. Did you cut his hair? And he says I'm a bad producer. Never mind. What you got? What you got? Let him fly. No, what don't you got, me. man? No, 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 I'll like, test you. Right. Cooler heads prevail. Cooler heads prevail. All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had to like. I had to show up call and let them know i was there they were, i'd like try to get an appointment sooner they were booked way ahead obviously um and it let me know i was outside they let me it was like a bootlegging thing man they let me inside <laughs> speak like a speakeasy and, uh, <laughs> and i had to wear a mask the whole time they were all wearing masks they even installed plexiglass in front of the thing like it was a bank teller interesting um, so they just like had their out. hands up under under it and doing your hair yeah they put they put no, it no, in no, like just those saw boxes <laughs> just and then they the fuck with them with the rubber gloves just at the front no 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 
their 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 setup was the same. She just she had a mask. I had a mask. That was the only real difference there. Yeah, was I she wearing my... gloves. No, well maybe. I don't I don't even pay attention. I'm sure, but I don't really. really I imagine probably honest. wearing gloves. Yeah. Probably. I feel like she wasn't though. I didn't do like, and usually I do like the shampoo and stuff. But I did this time. I just. It wasn't like I was worried about it. I just didn't. Like, like I was trying to get the fuck out of there. Just well, so like you can shampoo, mask. but they're not they're not allowed to use blow dryers right now. So you just so like that's walk out was, wet. So that's what I was gonna say. Oh, I was like, no. she, she did use a blow dryer. She's like, we can't use a blow dryer because of the germs. And I was like, all right. And then I'm, I, I'm still thinking about it. Like, I'm still really thinking about it. I'm like, well, like, like if it's if it's out here, like it's out here. Like, like yeah. do you have, don't you have AC on? Like, yeah. like, like. <laughs> I don't think there's a threshold of air like, that can push microscopic right. germs. Like, like, hey, you just hold on to all that cut off hair in your head right now. Just let well, that no, so fall all did, down your body. She undid the thing, like she undid the bib, and just like slow, like she brushed me off beforehand, like as best she could around my face and like my neck, and mm-hmm. then she had slowly did the bib and just like lifted yeah. it forward and just like whisked it all off, like it went like, all right, that's oh, funny. That's <laughs> hilarious. She's like, sorry for the extra hair. I was like, no, nah, that's all good, man. <laughs> Not collected anyway, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. stay itchy. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not collected anyway. Scoop something in my hand on the floor. Yeah. You got it in the back. You got it in put, the back. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> I, can I go? Josh is making a voodoo doll of himself. I just drop it in my mask and flip it. <laughs> <laughs> like a pouch. <laughs> can I go through y'all's trash real quick? <laughs> doing a thing. Just, <laughs> I'm doing a thing. Making a shrine. <laughs> Sort of like a midsummer situation. <laughs> um, all right. Well, you know, I don't know. What did Michael Swift tweet? Uh, Michael Swift. Michael. What did Michael, 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 what did Michael Smith uh, tweet out? Uh, just that where he was confirming that they're gonna make an announcement about our new AHL affiliate at some point this week. Um, I don't know if if we've narrowed it down to people. To be honest, I haven't really paid too much attention to it. But I imagine twist. it's Chicago or Charlotte. I right. Plot twist: It's the new Vegas affiliate. Uh, <laughs> that would be lit. Let's go. Wait, Let's how could it be? Sh- go. You said Chicago or Charlotte. Why would it be Charlotte again? Well, never like, well, yeah, if they, if they s- sorted their difference, renegotiated or huh? right. Interesting. Yeah, the, I mean, they it could just be that. Yeah, they were like. S- they hurricanes made their power move and let's come back to the negotiating table. It was or- it was the episode before the season finale of The Bachelor. It was like the big dramatic climax. Like, who's he gonna pick? Like, who's gonna yeah, get the right. rose? You're right. And, and he, then and in the end, in the end, the underdog four months. The underdog gets the rose. Yeah, it's the one that we all knew the whole time. Had our but, heart from the very beginning. Shouts out Ben. I feel like that's a person he's been on that show. That's a, a Ben person. That just sounds like a name. <laughs> ben. <laughs> ben. Yeah. Ben's, Ben's doing his thing. Yeah. For sure. What a weird, what a weird show. What a weird. Is he a like, contestant or is he a bachelor? I don't understand. Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying. I just feel like a person named Ben would have been on The Bachelor or Bachelorette at some point. There was probably a bachelor named Ben. Like, ben would have been for sure. Or Hank. Would've Hank would have been one. Hank. Definitely no. a Hank. Hank. No, you definitely. Was, definitely. Hank. A George. Hank, ben, remember, Hank Chad. Chad. remember that one show they had called like The Millionaire, and it was the one where like the really handsome guy was a like, construction worker, and they it was like it was like the same thing as The Bachelor, but it was like a construction worker dude who like looked like a model. Really, he's probably just an actor, and they like they set him up like he was a millionaire to all these girls, mm-hmm. and then so like I think he goes one by one, and then he gets to the final one, and she's like, since she's marrying this like millionaire, and he's like, I'm guess why I ain't got no money. <laughs> And then she leaves them, and then the whole thing is clearly about his money. I, that's probably what happened. Man, that's a pretty remember. cool show. <laughs> what did um, you just do? I don't know, man. I think like the sun just came in the the hold up, hold up. I mean, that would make sense. It's kind of shining right on your door where you're. Oh, window. it's better like, now. Is God about to talk to you? Like, what kind of sun? God. Is? Yes, God. God. Yes, God. Are you the second coming? Should we be worried? Oh, you should be worried. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of being worried speaking of being worried well no that wasn't going to be all right i'm just I'm bring that back. <laughs> so we had mentioned it a bit ago <laughs> speaking of being worried <laughs> dude <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Only real ones are gonna know that. One. Only the real oh, ones for real. Oh, with the piano. All right, all right. Uh, you done? God. Are you done? 
<laughs> Jay, Jacob, are you done? Cody, are you, are you done? Cody, are you yeah, done? I'm, I'm done. Hey, I'm hey Josh, are you done? I've been done, man. Are you ready? <laughs> Jacob, yeah, are you I'm ready? ready, let's, I'm ready let's start it here. You know what I'm saying? Let's start, let's start it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good idea. It's probably All right. a good idea. All right. We talked about it a bit ago. The uh, AHL affiliate was announced for the Golden Knights. <clears throat> they are the Silver Knights. Real fucking clever. Honestly, like I love the logo. <laughs> logo is sick. But the Knights aesthetic again is going to be dope. Right. Stupid name, man. Yeah, name. Stupid name. Lame name. name. What it's kind like of you're straight up calling them like the this? JV team. Like, yeah. It's like, all right, y'all are JV. Y'all Junior up, Knights. Or... They have um, the bronze knights next. Like, I mean, the penguins have the baby penguins. You know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, Do you think it, whoever came the up with the school name school. thought it was fire? They were like, Most they were like, oh, they yeah. were like, dude, listen to this. All right, so we're the golden knights, right? What's <laughs> second to gold? Someone's like, I don't know, it's silver. Silver second to gold. Interrupts the shit. So- <laughs> 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 right, I was, I was like, silver, silver. <laughs> There were two cats that were supposed to – they were each supposed to come up with a name, and they were like, oh, shit, you didn't come up with them? No, I didn't come up with them either. We're like, all right. So the, nice. the other guy was sitting there. He, like, opens his file. Like, Steve, what would you come up with? It's just, like, bronze night. She's like, nothing. You know, I think I think silver's probably the way we should go. The marketing guy was sitting there thinking about it, and he was sitting there thinking about it, and he looks, and someone was, like, at a park bench across from, like, two teenagers. One of them was playing Pokemon Gold. The other was playing Pokemon <laughs> Silver, and he's like, that's it. That's that's the what I'm gonna answer. Say. Silver. Yeah. Um, the other guy's sitting there like, how the fuck did I not think of silver, dude? <laughs> <laughs> like, it feels so inferior. Yeah. It was so simple. Yeah, it was, like, it was, it was right, right there. there. <laughs> and then, Hen- so they're the Henderson Silver Knights, but it's still basically Vegas, right? Like, they're right. They're oh, yeah, uh, still Vegas. Yeah, it's still. I mean, I, I think it's like Charlotte Raleigh, close, if not closer. There you go. So you're gonna. I mean, dude, think about like go. those guys are gonna be kings of that area. Like being on a Meyer hockey team, but being like a god in, in your city. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I saw someone tweet For out an about, American sport, you know? Yeah. I saw someone tweet out that that's going to be like the next hottest, you know, affiliate to join. You're in Vegas. The property tax is second to none there. The You're in the same city essentially as Vegas. Um, so it just makes sense. It's easier yeah. for recall purposes. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. And, and it's obviously, I mean, the Golden Knights are a, currently an elite organization with a lot of elite facilities um carolina doesn't even have a practice facility yet yet (laughs) Yet. Yet. it'll be done soon but yeah you're right and that's that's a great great strategy for development um so shouts out the vegas organization doing what they're doing doing it very very smart speaking of smart speaking of knowing the fucking odds what the fuck (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so they, <laughs> yeah, I think I was so sort of off for Cody. Yeah, I know, man. Come on, Cody just lost out here. I was just waiting to see where you were going. Go the <laughs> oh, that just, was for me. I, I was thought that was just a bad it. shot. I thought it was just a bad <laughs> shot. I didn't know I was just like, nothing. bro, that was your air ball. <laughs> That's hilarious. So the series odds came out, uh, and <laughs> is interesting. You know, everyone's talking about how the Hurricanes should be scared, uh, but according to Vegas, we are the uh, pretty high favorites over the Rangers. Same um, Vegas that came up with the Silver Knights, though. Let's just keep that in mind. <laughs> same Vegas. So, so the so the Hurricanes are a minus one forty in the entire series against uh, New York. New York plus one twenty. So. Not super great odds if you're betting either way. Um, it's, it's a little, little too even. Uh, the highest difference, though, is Pittsburgh is is a uh, favorite of the Canadians. They're minus 205 versus the yeah. plus 175. And I would assume if you ask anybody, that's probably the – like if there was one team that was going to get swept from based off these series, it was probably going to be the Canadians. Yeah, I mean when you look 17 at the regulation like that, yeah. wins. 17 On- regulation wins. Honestly, and even though it's still pretty close, I'd still even give the Islanders the the, the clap over the Panthers. I don't know, yeah. dude. So, because that one's a – so the Islanders are minus 120, Panthers plus uh, 100 and even. Don't that's like on that, that's one of the closest. I, I think don't that – uh, Barry Oak. Yeah, I just – I don't know. I think the Panthers have a, have the ability. I mean, if, uh, uh, if goaltending turns it on, like, they have the ability yeah. to score. 
Yeah. Well, Gold Tang's getting paid well enough, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I kind of looking down this list, uh, it seems like, and I know, Josh, you were saying this, that they follow kind of the standings pretty closely uh, mm-hmm. for setting these odds. Um, I'm not, you know, I, do, I don't remember exactly where everybody was, but it seems like that down the list, you know. Well, yeah, and I was – I was curious to know if the uh, – so the Islanders-Panthers is close, and on the west, the Flames minus 120, Jets uh, at even odds are, are the other closest one. Are those the two – Island Canucks seeds? are pretty close too. Yeah. So – The Lions are actually really close. Yeah. But do we know if those are – do we know which ones are the eight and seeds? So those would be the two closest here, teams. I can't, I, can't, I can't remember. I cannot remember. I can look no it up, idea. though. Interesting. Um, and then, you know, so obviously, so we'll go back to so it. Who Maple Leafs. On? Who are you betting on? Uh, per e- I mean, if I had to put all the money onto one of these series. Yeah. It ain't the Hurricanes. I'll tell you that. I mean, if you, if you're putting the, if you're putting the bank on it, it's gotta be the Penguins, right? Like you're, you're not making as much money, but that's definitely the safest bet. It's a sure bet. And I mean, obviously, if you're looking to make a buck, put it on the Canadians. But you are probably gonna. And I think the Oilers. I mean, I think I think the Oilers are the Blackhawks. Like people keep saying, you know, you give Chicago a chance and they might take it. I just don't see that team doing it against the Oilers. I think see, man, it's just, it's just one of those things where the Oilers are that perfect team to choke in the playoffs with as good as they've been, and yeah. the Blackhawks are that team to turn it on in the playoffs. So it's just like fuck, man. I don't right. Know. Really, and the really Jets, like I don't, I don't think I think the. The that, Oilers have only had like one good playoff year since McDavid joined the league, and and the Jets were uh, above Calgary. Jets above Calgary at hmm. the stop, hmm. which is actually kind of interesting. Yeah, that the Flames would be the favorite. Counterintuitive, yeah. I mean, but but again, I would think that the Flames, like, I think that they have a much better chance at, at winning than than even those odds say. Oh uh, yeah, you'd see that. You know, they're their top talent. That's hurt, really hurting on defense. Up. Yeah, Jets I just want to see top talent. We need to show up. I just want to see a battle for Alberta in the playoffs. Me too. Oh, dude, that shit would be. Oh man, I love that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, and so, go ahead, Cody. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, looking past this, um, the Vegas odds too. Looking at the whole thing here, um, to win the cup, what are them? Yeah, so these were interesting to me just because. Here, let me just quick. Um, so at six to one or six and a half to one odds, uh, the Lightning and the Bruins, which I think that makes the most sense. They are, they are the sense. two favorites, especially for the Bruins. Right. Uh, it's seven to one odds. The Avs are there by themselves, which is interesting. Um, so eight to one is the Flyers and the Knights, um, which you know, I guess uh, all the way down at 12 to one, the Blues 15 to one. Uh, is the Penguins and the Capitals, and I thought I that, was, that they, I hate that they're together. Right. It's, so not it's only are interesting, they, I, I would I would not think that the Knights would have a better chance than the Capitals or like, the Flyers. Like, honestly, like maybe I'm dumb. I can see based on the recency bias. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's mind, true. That's yeah, true. the Knights. I don't know. I don't see how they're lower than the Capitals, or even maybe even the Blues for that matter. Yeah. So when I fur when when the odds they were very number, first, I think they are number one in the Pacific. Yeah. Well, when the odds first came out, uh, the Bruins, the Lightning, and the Knights had all the same odds, and I had no idea why. But that's why, like, that was a big thing that I want to talk about. Is like, why the hell were the Knights have the third odds the, to win? I think win, it's just like. they they're the division winner right now. I guess I just because they're in Vegas, know. dude. They're in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, home yeah, fam- they get some favorite, love. Dude. Home yeah. favorite, dude. Yeah. Uh, the Stars have eighteen to one odds. The Predators have twenty to one odds. Uh, 25 to 1, Oilers and the Maple Leaves. Uh, 40 to 1 odds, the Canucks. You've noticed that I haven't mentioned the Hurricanes yet, which I think is some huge fucking shade. Because I think, I mean, I definitely think we have better odds than the Canucks. I think we have better odds than the Maple Leaves at this point. I think they're looking into a path to the playoffs too. Right, and and, and that's that's what I was going to get at is, is it because we have to face a team who – in, in, in the, the range who is probably better than what their record shows. Yeah. Right now. Like the, yeah, like the Canucks play are playing games. the wild. The Canucks are playing the wild in their, right. in their first series. And that's very winnable for them. You know, yeah. that's not so, a so team. Some of, these top teams are, some of these top teams are getting buys. Right. Yeah. Even though, even if they play round Robins, they're still getting games that they're getting aren't. guaranteed playoff spot. 
right. guaranteed game playoff spots. So, you know, in terms of true odds, they're playing less games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. Play more games to survive. So, yeah, I mean, their chances just to get eliminated go up. Yeah, um, and then so moving to the, the bigger odds. So it, it is shade, though. At 50 to 1, you've got the Hurricanes, the Flames, and the Coyotes. Um, I definitely think we have a better chance. I, I think that was shade to the Flames, too. I think they have a better chance than 50 to 1. Coyotes, that, that makes sense to me, I guess. Um, 60 to 1, Wild Islanders, Rangers. 66 to 1, Blue Jackets, Blackhawks, Panthers, Canadians, and Jets. Um, you throw 10 bucks. Yeah, but I mean, I but like you know, we are having this uh, the conversation about Chicago. If who are they playing? They're playing Edmonton, Chicago. Yeah. Uh, Tough first if, round matchup. If if they like if if they can be, if they can get past Edmonton, like then that's a solid for what it's worth to put some money on sixty six to one odds. You put yeah, ten dollars right. down, it really it's over six hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, but uh, so like you know, looking at this this table right now that we have, what are the uh, the biggest surprises to you guys? Honestly, the the Capitals uh, being below the Knights mm-hmm. was kind of a big surprise. I mean, like the Blues, you, they kind of get the benefit of being the reigning champs, you know. But yeah, I think yeah. the Capitals should have the same odds as the Flyers and the Knights for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, uh, I mean, the stars I think are just up there because of their their finish at the end of the, yeah. of the pause. I don't think they really stand that good of a chance. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a little. I think the Hurricanes are a little low too. But all in all, I mean, I fifty to one odds. Sense. I mean, the I mean, you know, we obviously know this, but like whenever the the Hurricanes are whenever the Hurricanes are in the playoffs, like that's when we turn it on. We are very mm-hmm. uh, efficient. When it comes to postseason play, so fifty yeah. to one odds is—I right. mean, I, I will be throwing money on that. Um, yeah. I also was thinking about it; it would be very interesting to see whenever the hub cities are announced how that affects the odds. That's true um, too. Because even with no fans, whatever, like if you're comfortable, if you're playing in your locker room, um, and you're if going your to your practice even facility, your division yeah. or right. whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, this is not a I, I assume they're going to figure out how to eliminate teams that are playing or yeah. eliminate teams from playing. At home, at their home. I mean, cause wasn't Pittsburgh somewhere else? Yeah, because Pittsburgh was one of the cities. I think that they were going to play, yeah. or one of the possible yeah. cities. A few of them are on this, or of this. Matchup. Right. Yeah, which is good for the Hurricanes, though. We won't have to play the MSG. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. it's good for. Uh, but put your money down. Put your money down, boys. Oh, oh dude, I've already, I've already bet like mo- most of what I can borrow from the bank on the Hurricanes. I, I was about to say my four went okay, gone. Oh, yeah, no, it'll all be all worth the it. Hurricanes. You said fifty to one. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Bet yeah. fifty one, dude. $200. Just hundred dollars. I mean, a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars gets you some fat change, dude. That's true. Five grand. That's true. For real. For real. Um, but, uh, kind of moving on to some darker, some darker stuff, less fun stuff. USA Hockey President Jim Smith is currently under investigation for uh, the way he handles some uh, sexual abuse allegations. Uh, Tom Chico, I'm not sure how to say his last name, Adratas, uh, Adratas, I'm not sure how to say his last name, uh, allegedly uh, sexually abused several junior players. It was reported, and then he was told he couldn't uh, continue to coach, and then they just didn't enforce that ruling, and he was allowed to continue to just coach. It was a it was Chicago area junior team. I can't remember their name. And they just swept it under the rug. Yeah, it was just like – and then, later on, and, yeah, and then later on claimed that there was never any allegations and it's all, it's very, it's super fucked up. Uh, it's very similar to the whole Joe Pa Penn state thing. Yeah. And so we're gonna, supposedly known about for too long. Yeah, we're going to see, I think we're going to see a lot more about that come out. And who was that I guy? Hope, was he a coach? Yes, he was a coach. Okay. Uh, and from what I read, it was the owner of the team he coached that reported him. So it's that was super weird. What's the, what's that the nothing, motivation to cover this up then? That, right. We'll see. It, the, it's the president of the entire USA Hockey organization that's not wanting it to look bad. I God guess. Damn, I dude. that yes. I guess that's what it is. I don't know, man. It's it's like I said, Jesus real fucked up. And Christ. yeah, I uh, hope they figure that shit out and the whole story comes out. Cancellation Cup season two starting up next week. About a week from today, I think, is when the first games will be. Yep. Some scrims have been happening. 
Apparently, we're going to be the shittiest team again. You uh, know it, dude. We always want to be the underdog. Not with that attitude, you won't. Exactly. We're, we're like a plus 250 underdog. Put the money on Raleigh Furt, baby. Yeah, boys. Like I think at this point, it's just we should let the crowd know we're doing it on purpose. We're doing it oh, on purpose. Obviously. It's going to come back embarrass story. anybody. Obviously. It's always good for the 30 for 30. So humble. Yeah, you got to start from the As bottom always. if you want to be a legend. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've always said it. So, Don't you remember when LeBron was very bad at basketball? No. I do. I was there. <laughs> I beat LeBron once. But, and we're going to be streaming the games. Uh, we're actually going to be streaming these games, these Raleigh Furta games. We may or may not have figured out streaming. We may or may not have figured uh, may it out. May or may not. We're, we're going we'll to find we're out. Gonna have the game streamed. <laughs> Absolutely, the game is going to be streamed. We have some Strumped. other things we want to be uh want to do with it so we're going to see see if we're going to be able to get that done but the games will definitely be streamed on sure, mixer sure. uh so you can you can donate money on on twitch right we're using mixer I, though probably yeah we're using mixer uh, okay. I don't know, yeah i have no idea i'll say probably. five dollars five dollars and squirrel and i shotgun a beer for every five dollars there you go there we go, dude. I'll, I'll, throw, yeah. I'll yeah. throw out alcohol work, as well. Work for those donos, dude. Work for those donos. <laughs> hey, me five bucks, um, I'll shotgun a beer. Fuck. Two fifty. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But um, yeah, those are gonna be streamed at uh the way it's set up. Those are gonna be streamed at uh off of my account, J Y C O B B B seventy seven, and later posted on the YouTubes and stuff. So definitely go check that out. Mm. Uh, we're gonna try to do some cool shit with it. So bet mm. bet. Very good. I guess that about wraps up episode 66. Yo, we done it. Team, we man. did it. It's a wrap. Where can they find us, Jacob? That shit's been executed. You can get us at Talking Sauce Pod. No underscore. Respect the underscore. Uh, again, Cancellation Cup. Stream it on Mixer. Check it out. Uh, check out our YouTube if you're listening. If you're watching, yeah. check us out on Spotify and stuff. You know Apple. what I'm saying? All that Apple, Anger. you know, rate, comment, dual all streams. That stuff. Yeah, dual streams. Open stream. it on all the platforms. Open it up on subscribe. everything. You can find me at J A Y underscore C O B B B 77. No underscore for the mixer stream. Josh, where do they get you at? Teebs, T E A B Z Z. Cody, where do they get you at? At C D underscore 2187. Dylan, where do they get you at? You teabags, your mom. 69 420 lowercase x capital x on reddit figure it out thank you for joining us here at talking sauce podcast we'll see you next week have a beautiful day